All right, it's time for Off the Press, and we have a very special guest of, well, <laughs> our Monday special, <laughs> Bunaba Kataria, political affairs analyst, is joining us from River State. Always a delight to have Opunabo. I'm speechless. Good morning, Opunabo. Good morning, Maureen, and good morning, Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how you look. Mm. Perhaps that's why yeah, I was having you. a bit of a problem introducing you, because I just didn't know how to start introducing mm. you this morning. Don't worry, I'll be with you Oh, oh that would be good. lovely. That would be lovely. You're looking like Tartif mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we start with the Guardian newspaper. Mm. Niger invasion. Nigeria may incur over 2.98 trillion naira double defense spending yearly. Sanctions against Niger. So you have the picture there of Tinubu, President Tinubu, and someone in military uniform. I don't know if they're trying to show Wagner group there. Mm. So wh what's your take on all of this that has been unfolding since Tuesday when uh, Mohamed Bazoum was removed from office? Yes, uh, Murray, honestly, it's quite interesting. You know, they say we don't appropriate and appropriate. We have coups every four, four years in this country. <laughs> but these are, our coups are quite different. These are, it's true. These are coups that uh, uh, cover the niceties and complexities. You know, we call it, we say, democratic coup. What is a coup? A coup simply means the fighting of an illegitimate government, illegal and illegitimate government for the country. That's, that's, what, that's what a coup is. In fact, the military coup, I prefer military coup to civilian coup. Because mm. in case of a civilian coup, what we call democracy. The truth is, you have falsification of results and all kinds of crime. In military coup, they don't pretend to the battle of the gun. They, 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 they take over. It's as simple as that. You, in your own country, you've not been able to remove the pen in the highest. You're going to remove the law in another place. What's your business? Was it not the same country? Whenever Nigerians cry out in the battle of the we'll say, uh, uh, you have our sovereignty, you have no right to come and tell us what. We also don't have right to tell the Jews. Hmm. The Nigerians are completely happy with that thing. You know, I don't believe in that philosophy of the worst democratic regime is better than the best military regime. That is complete fallacy. Till tomorrow in Iraq, they are regretting. Till tomorrow in Saddam Hussein's time, they are regretting. They would have allowed those so called defeaters to remain. Today, they are suffering. Hmm. Just like in Nigeria, we are suffering. We, if we have never had it this bad, not even under the military regime. That's the truth about it. Your life is all about living. How, your own essence is how you live. If you are living comfortably or not, you are really not bothered. We cried against the military regime because we saw the military have been draconian, have been officiating. But what is the situation today in Nigeria? Is it better? Can you even compare the Apache's relief to the to the relief you have after that the post military the post military? Can you ever compare? Even the so-called demonized Apache's relief with you. So we don't have no business. Now we are going to spend so much. We have not been able to address the burning and nagging issues in this country. People are dying on daily basis. People cannot fend for themselves, for their families. Things are getting worse by the day. Economically, politically, social. You have not addressed what is going on in this country. You want to go and waste resources. Why are they doing it? Not because they believe in democracy, because they are equally not democrats, but they are doing it simply because they want to protect their own. If we don't stop this, the Sahel region is being over overtaken by military men. So if we don't stop this, we are going to be victims. Now, this is supposed to. This to the next thing will be Nigeria. Then you go and spend our hard earned resources in the day in the name of uh, trying to protect the worker. Who sent you there? Who sent you there? Show your problem in the house. Your house is on fire. But we are big what brother. Are we, we, are we, we are big brother, no matter what. Since we are big brother, we have to yeah. go and do big brother affairs, even if our house is on fire. So you save the, the yeah. younger one. Isn't that what is, is it happening? Not insanity, is it not insanity that your house is on fire, your kids are dying, 
and somebody else's house is not on fire. They are just talking of change of government. And somebody else's house is probably, probably you suspect will be on fire. You leave your own to go and put out the fire in another person's house. Is that not stupidity? Remember, back for this international impression of an influence and so forth. Nigerians are quite. Did you see how elected they were on the streets? Which means the previous government, the democratic government, so called democratic government, was also autocratic. And they were not pleased with the style of it. That's the meaning. If you happen in Nigeria, it's not far if you are not careful. Well, another because thing I do not like. Open up. Yes. Open up. Another thing playing out. Yeah. that I do not understand and I do not appreciate is the fact that, look, this is an ECOWAS thing. It's supposedly supposed to be an ECOWAS thing, but it's beginning to look like it's a Nigerian versus Niger situation. Now, Tinubu, President Tinubu, is just the chair of ECOWAS, and he's speaking for ECOWAS and not for Nigeria. Nigeria is not at war with or looking to go to war with Niger. So why, why, why is it playing out this way? I'll tell you that, yes, I'll tell you. In the last ECOWAS attacks and uh, what, uh, uh, how, operations, tell me who has been funding largely in terms of personnel and finance? Nigeria. The ECOWAS community will be shouting. But when the chips are down, they'll leave everything to Nigeria. And I, because of shame and pride, Nigeria at that point in time will not be able to remember. That's the truth. Check all our economic operations sponsored by Nigeria. Surely others will just bring some peanuts. Last chunk in terms of personnel, in terms of finance, will come from Nigeria. And that's why Nigerians are crying. They say one beating twice shy. If you doubt this, wait and see. If at all they are going to commence this operation, wait and see. Nigeria. And that's why we say, no, we have enough problems in the house. Solve our problems. Solve our problems. Forget about the international. You say Nigeria will tell, when you say, ah, uh, tell Tinubu to do this, you say Nigeria will suffer. Uh, the sovereignty. That one too is sovereignty. It's, so, it's just a matter of, it's a question of nomenclature. Democratic regime. So, but the question is, can't you see the Nigerians are so happy? Can you love the Niger more than Nigerians? The Nigerians are so hard, just like the day Advachao died. That was the same expression we saw on the streets. Nigerians are so, look at, people were happy that Advachao died. You know, in the African culture, when a man dies, you don't even speak ill of. But because of the frustration in the land. But will you compare the Advachao to you, David? You will not compare. So when you have, you have, well, you have a, a government, a, an autocratic, uh, selfish, heartless, callous government in power, and you say the people should just relax, they should not talk. They are not doing it because of Niger, because they love Niger. They are doing it because they are scared. Because look at the Sahel region. The village is taking over. And they are scared that one day to be mine. They say, where well, you kill the goat, the sheep is not happening. Tomorrow it will be mine. So we better stop this coup. The only way to stop a coup anywhere in the world is to ensure good governance. That's the only way. That's the military might. They say when consciousness power means powerless conscience. The former lasts first, but the latter lasts last. So it is not by might. Not by might. It has to be good governance. Give us good governance, you will not have coups. Give us bad governance, you will have schools. It's a matter of time. And that's what they are scared of. That's what they are scared of. Then you don't waste our resources. Sorry, it's on, uh, we want to go and protect democracy in another country. The, the, same, the, same, story, the same story is yeah. on uh, daily trust. Uh, Niger coup is um, adamant as uh, deadline ends. Uh, now we know that they have closed their borders to Nigeria. They have... Uh, uh, they have refused access to, for our soldiers to enter Niger, even though there was supposed to be a joint uh, tax or a joint force that will fight uh, insurgency and all that. Now they are on their own and they are refusing our people entering there. 
the troops deny Nigerian soldiers access to Boso, ECOWAS, uh, MUM over next line of action. And uh, the president has met with uh, the, um, the, the governors of the seven northern states. What do you think will actually be the uh, discussion like? Uh, because they are, they are really silent about <laughs> what they talked about in that meeting. But what do you think that discussion will be like? Pretending to be walking, doing nothing. That's all. That is letting the casif there also be. What I what will the governor say? The, di the directives come from the CC. It's, it's like in Nigeria, you have the military. Let me tell you, they are scared. You see, Nigerians have been emboldened by countries like Russia, foreign countries, that will just drop one missile on Nigeria and that will be the end of it. They just try to play the big brother role that you're not. You're not. You are not a big brother that cannot put a house in order. Is that a big brother? Is that what they call a big brother? Niger, look at look, they gave a deadline. What happened? Niger is not daunted at all. Not daunted. Right? No, no ounce of fear. And it's a big brother. If Niger has challenged Nigeria, the deadline has last. What are that? I'm challenging you. Do your worst. And I bet you know how come our common community, unless Nigeria will be that foolish to do it. We're living dead because if you look at those behind the gate, then they have to teach you a lesson. There are a lot of foreign countries behind you, and they are waiting. That was dead. And there will be another, there will be a, the, the, the Nigerians will be dead in Pakosh. Okay. So, my dear, meeting with the governors, the seven northern governors, is completely massive. Maybe you are telling them, as uh, safeguard your place to ensure criminals don't come, in, but ensure foreigners, Nigerians don't come. But you see, every time we have Nigerians moving in and out of the country, in fact, they are more prepared than us. Because you find them moving in to kill farmers, headsmen, and so on, and they go back with impunity. They know how porous the country is. So the people are not scared at all. No ounce of fear in them. Yeah, up and up, uh, so have meetings with one billion governors, it means nothing. What do they do? Are the governor CCs? You are still the CC that will give the order, God, sentinel the borders, not the governor. So having me to the for you. They've been having me to governor, head, head, uh, farmers, headsmen, classes have been there. In fact, it's heightened on daily basis. They've been having me to go, people go to the churches in the north to kill people. And so, so what is the need of what is the need? That's what we're talking about. You've not put your house in order. You're going to be jailed. So go and profligate our resources. You've not put your own house in order. You've not been able to save your child. You're going to the next house to save the next man's child. Because uh, what, what do you want to prove? A superhero. Your own child, you've not been able to feed your own child at all. You're going to the next house to feed the, another master. What, what are you going to refer to that? What do you call that? Openable. What do you call that? Yeah, openable. Yeah. So apart from Niger, yeah. you have Mali, you have Sudan, you have Chad, and then you have Burkina you know, Faso. I said the Sahel. I, I just said the Sahel. Yes, and so you have Burkina Faso. Uh, the, 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 the guy in Burkina Faso, it's appearing to be the new kid on the block. Um, everyone seems to be liking him. D did you listen to the speech he made in, 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 in Russia recently when they had that summit with Russia, Africa-Russia summit? And what do you make of the whole no, thing? Oh, you didn't? I, I didn't, but the way... The way you pronounce the, the country's name, I, I have a belief, a strong belief you have a tie there. Yeah. I am grand I am I'm a broadcaster. I am grand from there. I'm a, I'm a broadcaster, <laughs> but so, I try my best to pronounce this word I, the best I know, that is. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, well, so these things okay, are sorry, unfolding. Yes. These things are unfolding. Uh, the, 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 the military boys are becoming popular on the continent as we speak. <laughs> Uh, if you go across social media, what you see is that these military boys mm. are being liked mm. by Africans. Why? Because a lot of the things that uh, have been going on, uh, especially with regards to France and the West, you know, and all that's been playing out with the way African uh, natural resources have been plundered and Africans being left in poverty, um, in, in, in almost in Connivance with our so-called leaders, it's, it's beginning to make Africans across the world say, wake up Africa, let's take our destiny in our hands. And it does appear that people are beginning to think that it will take or require the 
the involvement of the military boys to be able to achieve this. Mm. I, I, is that an accurate analysis, do you think? Oh, apt analysis, apt analysis, you know, because um, now the citizens have lashed into a state of victimhood where the microcosm to you that are in charge of the resources, use the resources to oppress, so you can't talk. They buy the judiciary, they buy, and that's why you see, I always, I'm always worried when the judiciary is compromised. Always, that's why even in law, once you have impugned the sincerity of the judge, that judge will definitely refuse itself. You know, I always talk of um, uh, Justice Hewitt, who said, Justice, he was one who actually, they might not only be seen to be done, but they might not be done, but they seem to be manifestly done. If you look at the circumstances, just because a party followed them into the chambers and came out, I'm just trying to summarize it, and the other party went to appeal, why did you ever move in with them? And the appeal court said yes. Whether you actually discussed with them or not, is a material. His perception is you've gone into compromise. Therefore, you set aside the job. And that's why the judiciary is key. Look, when you have these fools and you see people come out to endorse the coup, it's a referendum of the people's disapproval of bad governments. We eat democratic, we eat military. It doesn't matter. The nomenclature does not put food on your table. What puts food on the table are the good policies for the good government. And you don't force candidates on paper. If you are not elected, and eventually you're forced on Nigerians, or Nigerians, or on, uh, uh, people from any, any country, what's the difference between you and the cookies? It's a simple question. What's the difference? Because the military man that takes over, it's not about you. In fact, it's even, the coup is even better. The coup is even better because in that case, you, you are not even aware. There was no selection. You just came. This one, you chose. This is the man I want to be, my governor, my president. And somebody You know, every spirit revolts and tyranny. You see, the tyranny is not just keeping the man down. For, no, no, no. Giving me somebody I did not vote for. It's tyranny. It's like, to hell, what can you do? That's what you're saying. To hell, what can you do? I must be there. Yeah, open up. I will tell me that I'll also tell you I will do something. As little as a little is, if you step on it, you'll bleed. So don't take anything for granted. Yeah, open and up. And that's what is probably the, 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 our 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 society. Open up. Or do you do you share the yeah. concerns, or what do you make of the concerns in some quarters that? Vladimir Putin and NATO may end up settling their scores on African soil and using this whole thing that's playing out as an opportunity to come and settle their scores here. And we know what we're talking the about, weapons. That, uh, we're talking about weapons. It's vapid. Can you hear me? We're yeah. hearing Can you. Hear me? Yeah. OK. Those are just this bappy. Let me tell you, name, name. The thing that we, you see, what is what is really going on is this. It's like a woman who is married, now accuses her, uh, the second wife or the third wife or the fourth wife. Or a, a, a student who is, who is not intelligent will come back and tell the parents, uh, because he wanted to sleep with me, I refused. Well, that is the only you know that that is not the case. Why will you create Africa? Why will you make Africa a better example? So if you're a leader and you fall to such shenanigans, if assuming without conceding, that which means you're not what we call a leader. That's the truth. Mm. Because if, if my child comes to you and say, that perhaps, then I'll petition. Mm. First, go and read, because I'll look at the script. So if you're a leader and you fall to such uh, a sham and shenanigans that they want to, why are you in there? First of all, that disqualifies you as a leader. Excuse me. Sorry. Number two, do your best. If you have a country, if you're the president of a country and you're loved by your people, your people will protect you. You don't even need the soldiers. You know, the other I say is that argument suffers from ethics of reason and poverty of knowledge. That's the point that. 
Could they have done that in any... If, look at Gaddafi. What happened to Gaddafi? They invaded. They had to invade. Because... The, and funny enough, they sold all kinds of dummies and all kinds of stories against them. Today, the people are angry, the people are bitter, the people are regret. We've gone past that stage. That was not even the media, the social media era. Now we have the social media era. Mm. The world is being more enlightened. Mm -hmm. The British man or the American man or the Russian cannot just come and talk to you now and you swallow every hook, line and sinker. We did all that when there was a theology complex. Now we know what to do. Mm. They are talking of uh, 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 what equipment and so What Biafra did that, didn't Biafra did go do that. The equipment they used, although some came from France, but the future, most of them were manufactured in the East there. What happened? They killed it. Or that would have been one of the superpowers. Then they would have said, because Russia, there is this policy, Russia or not, must true for every time Koto, what makes you a leader? So I don't believe in such theories. The question is, okay, we agree that they want to use this as a fertile land to test them. Before that time, how have you been governing the people? Because the people would have come out to protect you. Rather, they are coming out to condemn you and endorsing the coup. What does that tell you? Mm. What does that tell you? So you're not going to touch that. Your own people are endorsing your people against you. That tells you how bad a leader you are. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, let's 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 take something else. I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just not happy that um, we wasted our money building a rail line to Niger, and now they are cutting us off from their uh, their country because of Is something. That that could, about? Yeah, because of Is something that, that could have been said. We okay. should have been brothers and sisters, but now see this what is happening. But let's take another topic. Um, uh, yeah, because the former president is from Nigeria. Well, recently something... That is from really... there. He said, he said his brothers and sisters are there. So he's from Nigeria. He did say uh, that Nigeria. anyway. Uh, no. Something happened... Now. Something <laughs> happened at the yes, weekend. Yes. Something happened a few wow. days ago. A doctor uh, lost her life. If you go to the Punch newspaper, you'll find that story. The doctor lost her uh, life in a lift. I don't know if you saw that story. And now the governor has sacked, um, uh, the, suspended the agency's chief, the agency that was supposed to be in charge of the maintenance and installation of uh, the said lift. And he has also sacked the facility um, managers and um, because of the death of this doctor. But we see the story surrounding what happened. She was from the 10th floor entered a lift, the lift failed and crashed down. One hour later, they were able to remove her. And stories surrounding the, that uh, incident say that um, even everything that was supposed to be needed to, to, to give her the life that she needed, to resuscitate her, were not, was not there like the blood and so many oxygen and so many other things, even though the government has denied this. So now, sacking of the... Uh, facility manager and the suspension of the agency chief. Uh, do we need to start applauding the governor, or you think there are some other things that should have been done uh, as the aftermath of this unfortunate event? First, uh, my heart goes out to the family member. I mean, it's so, so, so heart wrenching that you train a doctor, your daughter, your child to that level, only to be killed. But she was killed. She was killed by the uh, managers of that facility. And so it's criminal negligence. It is not enough to sack them. They should be prosecuted and jailed. They killed her. Because I was just not the talking of meat. You can kill through the barrel of the gun with a knife, with any little weapon. They killed that doctor. So it's not enough. Sack will not suffice. They have to prosecute it. If they just sack, I believe that the family members will go ahead of But if, even if the governor loses it at that, then he knows probably he's not even paying them for the facility if it's a government facility. Because how can you tell me you just sack and that to suffice? A medical doctor. What's the difference? She's gone. She's gone. 
Some of them are, are, are siblings, are parents. Do you know the psychology? It could even lead to the death of the parents in that. Yes. It could lead to the death of the parents in their life. So, you ask the question, if it's enough, no. They have to be prosecuted and jailed. There's no excuse. It's criminally jailed. They will not be killed, but they will be jailed. And they should also investigate the relationship between that facility. At first, if they are giving money to maintain that, that's not an, that, that is not an excuse. I'm not saying that's an excuse. Because, you see, most times we run into such problems as a result of the inefficiency of the government. Forget the lies. They, they, they can forget all those rebuttals by the government. Because the, what of NSAS? Did they not say nothing after three years after what happened? I don't believe what government officials say. I don't. Okay, I will not mention it. You heard, you are aware of somebody who said, I will never accept this. I am bigger than that. I am bigger than this. I will not do this. Then the person attends to you. Accept what is less than that. These are the people we have in government. The void of rectitude. So, I am not bothered about the government's rebuttal. I am not bothered about the government's uh, defense. I am not even interested. I am not satisfied with the government's uh, punitive measures. I want to see that this matter is in court and dealt with expeditiously. Yeah, the doctors are taking I'm not in court ad infinitum. Yeah, not yeah. ad infinitum. Because you go to court and remain there for 20 years. That's why I'm worried about the kind of political judges we have these days. The judiciary is in a mess. It's annoying because it's supposed to be the bastion. Don't you think completely look at what that book, uh, 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 book, uh, what was that? Book of Showers. And his wife, President of the Court of Appeal. People, I think you don't really understand what it means when the judiciary is compromised. I'm bitter. The legislature can be compromised. The executive, for the judiciary to be compromised, then that nation is doomed. That nation is doomed because once for church of sex in, the nation is on fire. Once you don't believe, even justice delayed is justice denied. Look at the chairman of the uh, Code of Conduct Tribunal. After that mess, they go to court. And they use the court as a cover. And we had a president who could not even wait. People don't have, Look, unless you are directly affected, mm. you will not understand. So when it comes to that of the lady, unfortunately, she's gone, she's gone. There's nothing you can do about that. She's not even feeling any pain anymore. She felt the pain just with, before she died. What of the others living? Then there has to be punitive measures that will serve as deterrence. You could, you could have been me. You could have been you. Mm. And that, she was going to ask her to take her, her, her food, the other. Mm. That, was what, that was what we were told. Yeah. So she was living hungry. She died hungry. Her mama moved, moved to tears, you know. Yeah. Because of the negligence of the government. Then you come to tell me you sack and no sack. Probably that's the first thing. Probably that's the first thing. Well, the medical association, they, they, they have taken this up seriously and they are digging and investigating and they are making demands. And so this, I know, is not one case that's going to be swept under the carpet. Um, the facility manager has been sacked, but a lot of people will need to be grilled over this matter because sometimes facility managers are not even given enough resources. You know, to, manage, it, yeah, to, to manage the it. facilities, yeah. Mm. There's a lot of politics going yeah, on. So uh, That's why I said the government they should must have sealed off. They should have sealed off the facility if it was that bad. Probably. Well, you know no, probably they would choice. have written memos of, for memos and the memos yeah. are not. Yes. Or somebody collected the money and just... Yes. That's, that's for, for, for yeah, yes. and even, lift, yeah, even those who installed the lift, who knows uh, uh, the quality of lift that was installed? And there is so much monopoly Thank in that you. sector. It has to be yeah. The monopoly in that sector, no matter how bad the person who installed the lift, if he discovered that this person who installed the lift is, 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 is not reliable, you can't even get another lift operator or lift servicing company to come and service it. You are mandated to continue because to use his services. So, so you can, can sabotage it. You Except can sabotage to remove... Imagine if you were on that lift. Mm. Just imagine if you were on that lift going to see somebody. Mm. 
It could have been you. Except you remove the lift Just and bring another company to import, import a new lift for your, you. Your, your son or, or doctor was also on that lift God going to see somebody. That would be very painful. You know, if it occurs to you, you're gone, you're gone. You don't feel the pain anymore. But imagine your son or daughter was on that lift. How would you be upset? You wouldn't even be on, on air this morning. You'd be so traumatized that you wouldn't be on air. It and is, God, God will help you to come back to it, it is a very so, sad yes. incident. Very sad. I am, I am really paying you, you know. Very sad. Unless you, 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 you've never trained anybody before. You know what it takes. The mental stress and so on. Every morning of that day, I have this is this, that is this. And you're happy. I don't try to do well. Then the child that is gone. But that lawyer that was killed, the parents of her family. What is all this? What is going on? Huh. Okay, let's, I let's, to you. Let's... I will not wait for investigation. I will not wait for investigation. <laughs> people will have to go go with that. I don't know how, but people will go. Let's, let's still uh, just let's, say let's this, this as we round off uh, this segment, let's just remain with the, the hospitals as it is, or the medical doctors. Uh, doctors are on strike, and because of that, I know one or two people that are directly related to me that have passed on because they went to hospitals that doctors couldn't attend to them, and those were the nearest doctors uh, or hospitals that they had, but government hospitals, and of course they were not there. But now. Uh, since the doctors are on strike, um, the federal government is still talking about, uh, about uh, no work, no pay as the only solution to scare <laughs> them back into work. And I'm sure NLC is also spoiling for a fight because they were, talk they were talking about litigation against them and all that. No work, no pay all the time, using this to frighten the workers to, to do what, they, what they're bidding at. So what do you say about this as we wrap up on the segment, please? <laughs> Doctor strike. No work, no pay. <laughs> yeah. No work, no pay. That is a, the NLC. Let me talk about the NLC. Forget the NLC. The, the NLC is a great disappointment. I must tell you this. Whenever they don't have the money to feed in the morning or to buy their fuel, they threaten a strike action. And or when they want to see the face of a president, they try to strike action. Then they walk in Sinai Smiley, that's a kind of like rubbish. If you're embarking on the strike, you're embarking on the strike. And until they, your, your demands are met, you don't call off anything. They've been calling off strikes. You mobilize people, they go, the next thing you call off strikes. The government has said, has the government ever, ever fulfilled any condition? The question is no. So why do you keep calling up the uh, uh, backing on strikes and calling up strikes? The NLC is not serious. The NLC is only threatening to get to see what they can get from the government. I want to look at them whenever they walk into the, see, see the president. They see that smiling in front of the camera. Uh, with the, with the, <laughs> absolute nonsense. Nobody should listen to the NLC anymore. Did, did, there was any NLC who had answers? The NLC has lost its value. Complete, absolute rubbish. Nobody should bother about the NLC. Those are just people. They see the office as a one gravy train. How to fed up, line their pockets. That's all. Back to the doctor because we don't have time. So I don't want to talk about a, a body known as NLC. They have a bunch of discipline. Let us talk about Otherwise, you're calling on the strike. Your, your demand has not, not been met. You say you've reached accommodation. You, you, the next minute, the, the government behind you will go to court. They are negotiating. You know, the government employs what you call the Fabian policy. They are negotiating with you, but they have a true motive, and they are working on something. That's the Fabian point. And the NLC leaders are telling that they are not seized of these facts. They are working to collect envelopes. That's why you see that they're going back on that. Envelopes. So nobody should bother about NLC. It's a bunch of disappointment. The days of NLC, days of Kokoro and Co are gone. These are just uh, 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 people who want money. The days of Kokoro who really have. Uh, some body pain that's it. They are gone. Let us go to the doctors. No work, no pay. No problem. You know, it's difficult. It's hard. But I will opt for no problem. No work, no pay. I sit at home. By the time, like you told, some of your relatives died. By the time the hospitals are littered with deaths. Mm -hmm. That human being that is so callous to say no work, no pay. When his own wife or kids are killed, 
Or really does I also I, I, I also kill as a result of the doctor's strike or die as a result of the doctor's strike. When there is a resolution, I will see if you will be alive to say it again. No work, no peace. You see, the truth is, something has to happen in this country. Something has to happen in this because I was I said what we have is socialism for the rich and capitalism for the poor. To hell to those at the bottom of the pecking order. The leaders are leeching on Nigerians. Something must happen. I'm saying this. It must happen. If otherwise, <laughs> okay. something must happen. Don't okay. ask what it will be. Okay. It will happen. The Let's... wind is blowing. It's blowing. Open up. And I pray it comes this way. Yes. The wind, the wind, the wind will change. Happen. Good that you said, and I pray. Yeah, so there is, yeah, there is this thing they say, pray until something happens. So there's something that is going to that happen. Let's now. hope that That's it will come from God. <laughs> Open about this is where we'll have to uh, draw the curtain. Everybody is created by God, so it will come from God. Yeah. We'll have to draw the curtain on <laughs> this uh, segment <laughs> here you. today. All right. Good Thank morning. Thank you so Good much morning. for being a part of our program. Always it's a Good delight morning. to have you Thank with you. us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we'll take a short break and return in a moment. Stay with us.